Now I'm going to show you how to uh, rotate your grid and take the B axis of a dual axis tilt series. So I've actually already rotated the grid because we have a tilt rotate holder and so I can just hook up the little machine and lower the screen and watch it rotate on the screen. And so I think I've got it at 90 degrees. First I need to read the original A axis, so demo series 1A, and I want to read middle section which is number 60. I rotated my sample counterclockwise. So under process, I can say rotate left, and now it's rotated that image left 90 degrees. Now, what I want to do is look here in the yellow box at the bottom, that's called the image alignment and focus box, and see what my alignment buffer is. And my alignment buffer is N. So now, I'm going to go to the blue box, which is the buffer controls box, and toggle up till I find buffer N, and copy the current image in A to N. That's my alignment buffer. Now I think I've got my area of interest centered, so I'm just going to take a trial. That's my area of interest. And using the hot keys on my keyboard, if I press insert, that takes me to my alignment buffer and home takes me to the A buffer. So you can see I have a pretty good rotation. So I can go A, say align to N, and still I could rotate better. So I'm going to try that now. I've tried rotating it some more, and I took a trial image, I say to align to N, and now I toggle between the two and that's much closer. It's good enough, okay. So now that I have gotten myself aligned, I can go ahead and do all the things I would normally do to set up the tilt series. So I can do eucentricity, fine eucentricity, or in my tilt series setup, I can tell it to refine eucentricity before I start. I think this is what I'm going to do. The A axis was with one degree increments, so this one I'll keep at one degree increments and I'm just going to postpone, take a record image to make sure I have enough counts. I did control I, the hotkey, and my mean counts were only 9300, so I'm going to increase the intensity of the beam. Take another record image. Here my mean counts are very high. So because I have the beam set up with the mean counts at zero tilt much higher than what I want, I can say keep intensity below current value. And I can say go. And now this will be dose series 1b.st. And I actually notice uh, that I need to save my old log file and open a new one. And now I can do this. 1b.st and it'll take a tilt series just like before.